Guys, we are just getting home from the cheer rehearsals. Is that what we're calling it? Yes. Cheer rehearsals because they've got that competition coming up. And I gotta tell you, girls don't hate me, but I've been a little bit bored with cheer this whole time. A little bit unimpressed. Everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today, Clay and I are working on our handrail. We are gonna get going on this thing so we can hopefully get it done. And it also has to be stained along with our mantle. So we do need to get it torn apart. And I have found that if we just tear into something, then it eventually has to get finished. So that's how we get things done around here. We just <laughs> we just start. Just start swinging hammer. Just start tearing things a apart. Get bar, break stuff. And eventually it gets fixed and put back together. So the plan for this handrail is we're gonna take off all the dark wood and these, these right here, we're gonna get replaced with metal one. But this stuff is coming off and will be white oak. This is true, this is true. So we gotta take these caps off. Right, then we're gonna have a look inside. See if we can get down to the screws that are actually holding in the handrail. So if they, if we can, then we'll take those screws out. Hopefully this thing will just lift out. And then we can just very easily take this apart. If that doesn't work out that way, then we're just gonna get out a saw and we'll just cut this thing into bits. Oh. Yeah. Well, let's start with the caps. Let's see what happens. Let's do that. I'm sure I glued these on tight, put a lot of nails in them. Yeah. It's a McNeil job for you right there, folks. Yeah, those caps are not coming off. Yeah, they're on there. We got the trim underneath now. Caps still there. Yep, just broke it. All right, we got one cap off. We've moved over here to the second cap, and the handrail fell off. Handrail's free. <laughs> I mean, I mean, free. Oh, I like legit broke. Broke right in half. Were we gonna take that off anyways? Yeah, but okay, not quite yet. Now we have a gate. <laughs> no one shall enter the basement. <laughs> All right, there's a handrail to the garage. I feel like all this banging on these, these are gonna need to be reinforced. That's possible. Not sure how, <laughs> but it's possible. The best part about demolition day is that it is pretty dang quick. You can just rip it apart. When you're having to put it back together, that's when it takes forever, and that's the worst part about ripping stuff apart, is having to take the time to put it back together. The clay has got this thing almost completely taken apart. We're gonna have a little bit of a hazard here for a couple days. Yeah, this is definitely one of those uh, projects that can't just sit unfinished for multiple weeks. Well, yeah. Someone will fall off there. That's true. Probably the dogs, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> They recover quicker than us, but <laughs> still a little. Don't want that to happen. Yeah. While Clay is finishing this up, I have to go get Claire and Carmen ready for cheer. Tonight they are doing a parent preview, which means all the parents get to come and watch what the girls have been working on for the last like six months. They've been working so hard towards this. And then their competition is this Saturday, the very first one. They have one this Saturday, again next Saturday, and the following Saturday. So three competitions the next three weekends. We're gonna be busy following these little girls around, watching them cheer, and I am super excited to see what they have been working on. Claire and Carmen are all ready to go to their cheer competition. They are so excited. They're waiting in the car for us. Clay and I have to quickly clean up this mess here a little bit. We got some dust and things like that to vacuum up. And then we will come back and hopefully get a little bit further on this before we go to bed tonight. But for the meantime, we are gonna go enjoy Claire and Carmen and their cheer.
guys, we are just getting home from the cheer rehearsals. Is that what we're calling it? Yes. Cheer rehearsals because they've got that competition coming up. And I gotta tell you, girls don't hate me, but I've been a little bit bored with cheer this whole time. A little bit unimpressed. Until tonight. Tonight was absolutely amazing. You guys did so awesome. I can't believe that you guys are that good. It's, it's true. You guys killed it out there. All this time, I thought it was just time wasted. <laughs> but it wasn't. But it wasn't. You it guys like worked so as a awesome. team, like, so synchronized. I cannot believe how well it turned out. Thank you. You guys are going to be well at the competition this Saturday. Put it right here. It was basically like a competition because like it was just like all the parents there. And that's like his It was basically a anyways. competition except for we were competing against other schools and there were no judges. That's the only thing. That's true. You guys did so good. Like it made me a little bit emotional watching you. Me too. Me too. But I, I kept it in. I did not cry in front of everyone. There was a lot of teams there that need a little bit of work. But your two teams? Amazing. So Carmen, are you expecting to take first place on Saturday? I'm not expecting first place, but I'm expecting... Why not? I'm expecting A place. A place. <laughs> <laughs> You're correct. Yeah, I'm sure you will get a place. Meaning like... You are not going to be disappointed. I'm going to tell you that. Meaning, <laughs> no disappointment. Meaning one, two, three. Oh. Oh, I see. For second, third. I know how competitive you are, and our viewers know how competitive you are. I know you're expecting, and you want to be first place. Pretty bad, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could say so. I want to be first place, but I, if it doesn't happen, it's okay. It's not going to ruin your Saturday? Because I still have two other competitions. Oh. <laughs> Well, let's go for first place in all three competitions. We'll go for it, but we might not make it. Claire, you going first? We're Just... gonna get first. There you go. I knew it. I knew it. So, speaking of first, who's gonna be the first in bed tonight? Carmen is. What? You Tara, are. you? Yep. I'll volunteer. <laughs> I'm right behind you. <laughs> right behind you. We are pretty tired. Girls, let's go to bed. Claire, you having a late night snack? Curly Some cereal? Yeah. First. All right, we got our mess cleaned up. I had a couple disasters though. We had some wood that broke out at this section right here. Some on the corner. Gonna have to get those two pieces fixed. You gotta sturdy some of these up. This one here is a little shaky. The boys have been hard on that one. So the other two are pretty solid, but we're gonna put some screws back in them just to be sure. This one here is a rock solid because you got this wall to tie into. It's these others that are in the open. You have to have these blocks that go inside. As you can see down inside there, there's some wood. You have to secure those to the ground and then slide the actual newel post over those. So that's where it gets its strength from. There's a, like a missing screw inside of there. A missing screw? A missing screw. We should use these as time capsules, girls. We should put something in it. What do you think? Like a stuffed animal or two? Which one? A squishy? A cupcake squishy? No. So that's the best squishy that we have. Yeah. All right, well, don't be dropping in there. It's going to be hard to get it out of there. There's a vacuum plug it. That's true. That would work. All right, girls. You guys got to be very careful with this edge right here. Terrifying. Yes. Yeah. When we I mean, if you fall off right there, probably no big deal. But if you fall off over here, yeah, you're gonna have a problem. Um, I end up at the hospital. Again. When we first moved in here, this is the only part of moving in that I remember. Mom, there was when we moved in, there was no railing, and the only part I remember, I was really little. The only part I remember was mom telling me that not to go close to the railing. Yeah, that's true. We've got to stay safe. So I'm going to quickly get this thing put back together within the next day or two. But until then, caution. Guys, we are looking forward to these cheer competitions. It's incredibly fun to watch them perform like that. A lot better than just watching them stand on the sidelines saying, go team, touchdown. <laughs> It's true. Honestly, I was getting burned out with cheer. It's a lot. It's a ton of time, ton of running them around, but tonight was definitely made it all worth it. And I'm excited to watch them compete on Saturday. For sure. It has been like, you know, what, three nights a week, like two hours a night. It makes it incredibly hard to do almost anything with that kind of stuff going on. Yeah. Uh, we're grateful that it's almost over, but it's exciting. <laughs> uh, guys, we appreciate you watching. We love you. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow.